The book Thrawn Alliances heavily features the planet Batu and its first story appearance. We know that planet will be the setting for Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars theme park opening at Disneyland and Disney World in 2019, so I thought it would be fun to explore what we know about the location so far and what we might see at the park. Batu was an outpost planet on the very edge of the Outer Rim that was considered a last stop before entering wild space and then the unknown regions. It was once prominent in the galaxy as a crossroads for sublight space travel, but as hyperspace routes took over for galactic transportation, the planet fell into obscurity. By the time of the Galactic Civil War, Batu was favored by smugglers, adventurers, and other beings of less favorable reputations. It was largely covered in mountains and forests, but notably had petrified black trees dotting the landscape. Black Spire Outpost was the most significant location on the planet and was named for those trees. It was home to a spaceport, a cantina, and a market. The city was seemingly built around a number of ancient ruins, but who built them or when is currently unknown. When Grand Admiral Thrawn and Darth Vader visited Batu shortly before the Battle of Yavin, they discovered that a species from the unknown regions known as the Grisk were using the planet as a staging ground for a potential invasion of the known galaxy. That's everything that's been revealed to us about Batu and story content, but we do know a little more about the park itself. The whole experience is meant to be interactive and canonical. It would appear that the setting for the park's story will be during the time of the Resistance and the First Order, as one of the main attractions features a battle between the two armies. That makes sense, considering the First Order was hiding and growing in the Unknown Regions. The Resistance would want a foothold near Wild Space, where they could keep an eye on things, and it's a logical first stop for the First Order as they plan their invasion, similar to the Grisk. I'm sure the Spaceport, Cantina, and Market will all be present in the park. My friend Marvel Star Wars pointed out to me that Thrawn Alliances featured a number of drinks in the cantina, including Batu Brew, Blurgfire, Tana Ray White, and Doan White and Mugen Tea. It didn't occur to me before, but I imagine there might be some Star Wars-themed drinks at the cantina. My hope is that you can order a Port in a Storm, which is a drink from the book Bloodline that is said to be just terrible. I think it would be hilarious if they offered that and it actually tasted awful. We know there will be a Millennium Falcon ride at the park, so the spaceport makes sense. I'm intrigued by the mention of the ruins in the book. They may just be something cool to look at or to walk through, but maybe they'll play a role in the quote-unquote story experience of the park. Or it could be a fun way for nerds to explore and learn some new Star Wars lore. I know I'd love that, but that's really all we currently know about the planet Batu. Maybe it'll appear in more stories, like Star Wars Resistance, as we get closer to the park's grand opening. But what do you guys think we could experience at the park? Was there anything that caught your eye in Thrawn Alliances? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.